All right, we are here with uh, Jenny Brent. Um, full disclosure, I used to work with Jenny at Dom and Tom Incorporated. Um, so, uh, Jen, tell me a little bit about your game and company and all that. Um, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> um, well, um, my game is, do I talk to you or the camera? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, my game is called Equivoc. It's a visual novelette, so it is a, a brief story that you interact with in which you play an apprentice who must expose a fake psychic. And it is about thinking critically and learning to question everything. And as for my company, um, it was a really small operation. It was just me and uh, Keith Burgund did the music, and uh, Ido Yeheli was the programmer. Um, I'm here really mostly representing um, the master's program that I'm in, MFA Visual Narrative. So they're, in a way, they're almost also my, my company as well, I guess, you know, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so would you call this like a visual novel? Um, yeah, yeah, I would consider it a visual novelette. I think I, I subscribe to um, the pretty prescriptive definitions of games, you know, so, so I'd say I would call it a visual, a visual novel or a visual novelette because of the length. Yeah. How long did it take you to uh, make this game? Um, well, it was crunch time for sure. I, it took me about two to three months uh, because I did it uh, in my master's program. Um, and that's not to say that the game was like rushed or anything like that. Um, it was a, a very sleepless <laughs> two to three months. Can you tell us a little bit about the story without any spoilers or anything? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so you play Bunt Kukin, who is who I am cosplaying on today. Um, and they work in this magic shop uh, run by this uh, old famous magician uh, who you never see in the game. And one day you're woken up by Mint the Splendid, who is a famous magician that you really admire. and. Mint asks you for your help getting close to this other magician, Barnabas, who is pretending to be a psychic named Sir Barnabas. And Mint knows that, you know, psychics aren't real and wants your help to get close to Barnabas. So she begins kind of training you to ask questions and be a very skeptical person and starts training you about logical fallacies and kind of takes you under her wing to, as, in terms of being a skeptical thinker because she needs an innocent young face to get close to him. Um, and so then you end up getting captured by Barnabas, and Barnabas is like, hey, I mean, if it's real to some people, then, you know, doesn't that make it kind of real? So Bunt gets very conflicted, and like Bunt's kind of indecisive in general, so it's about, you know, playing through this story and seeing where Bunt ends up and where you end up as the player. And yeah, so I guess that's where... Yeah, I would say it ends up, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like it has like a lot of philosophical undertones. Yeah, I, I'm very about stories with a point. Your story should always say things, so yeah. <laughs> and uh, is it kind of cool? I know you do a lot of cosplaying. Is it cool to be cosplaying your own character? Yeah, it got. I got kind of emotional a little bit during it. Um, yeah, I was very like, uh, this it feels really cool. But also it was very relieving because I was like, no one can tell me I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> Um, so why, why bunny? Is that just to stick with the magician motif? Or? Yeah, yeah. Um, one, one aspect was to stick with the idea of the magician's rabbit. Um, you know, that, that sort of archetype. But also, um, I have a stuffed bunny and it means a lot to me. So I, I wanted to kind of pay, pay homage to, the, to my stuffed bunny as well. And where can we find out more information? Um, you can find Equivoc online. Equivoc is on Steam and it's on iPad. Um, I don't have it up on my website yet, but it will be soon, uh, which is jennyb.design online. Is there anything else you'd like to pitch while uh, we have your attention? Oh my God, that's so much pressure. Um, <laughs> um, well, yeah, I'd you should check out the other games that, I, that are here at MFAVN, um, the other MFA Visual Narrative games, which are Aura, which is a first-person exploration game based with sound, um, or has a heavy emphasis on sound. Um, this is my memory of First Heartbreak, which I can't quite piece back together, which is a choose-your-own-adventure heartbreak story. Um, Spice of Life, which is about a robot that wants to be a chef, a very inspirational story. And um, yeah, you should check all those games out because they're really cool. <laughs>
Well, that's great. Um, I'm looking forward to checking out your game, especially and all the rest.